Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in a little bit of a different setup. I have the crooked vlog camera out today because I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my cozy gaming setup. I have been working on this setup for, I would say, almost a year now, almost a year. I have been collecting and curating many items to see what works for me what visually pleases me and what makes me feel the most comfortable and relaxed and just happy. I want to make it very clear that there is no way I would have been able to build this whole setup without the amazing brands I've worked with and without my Twitch community. Those people have really supported me and honestly I owe all of this to those people. Along with that, I want to say that you do not need the most beautiful, the most extravagant, the most expensive setup to be successful, happy, good at games, anything like that. You do not need that. I want to make that very clear. I began streaming on a makeup table that was like $30 from Ikea, my MacBook that I used for school, and a little mini flat screen TV that I put on my desk. Okay, let's get into the setup tour. So I guess I'll start out with my actual PC over here. This is my baby. This runs my actual entire life in here, okay? This is a computer fully pre-built by NZXT. It is their streaming pro build, and they actually sent this to me, which is actually so incredibly stupid. I like can't even process it, but yeah, she's beautiful. Love her. I'll have that linked down below if you want to see the whole specs of my computer, but I doubt that's why most of you guys are here. Everything that I talk about in this video will be linked down below. All of my Logitech links are affiliate links and all of my Amazon links are also affiliate links. So if any of these you decide that you like and you want to buy, if you want to go to my description and use the link in my description to get to the website, that will directly support me with no extra cost on your hands. Um, so if you do decide to do that, thank you so much. It means the actual world to me. I really, really appreciate it. So my monitors, these are pretty new. I bought them about a month or two ago. So these are both the same monitor. They're Acer 27 inch uh, 75 Hertz monitors. Um, I upgraded them in size. I used to have a 23 inch and a 21 inch vertical, but I just wanted two of the same size and uh, I, I love them. I think a big monitor really changed the game for me. So yeah, these are great. Um, as you can see, the vertical 27 inch literally almost is touching my desk. Great for streaming because I can throw my OBS up high or down low, not worry about it being in the way of anything. And then this is usually the monitor I use for my gameplay, obviously. And I also got a really great deal on them. I can't remember exactly, but I remember they were like 50% off when I got them or something. Okay, let's move on to the peripherals. So we'll do the big obnoxious things. So first things first, I have my Elgato key light. Absolutely love this thing. I can change the brightness, the temperature from my computer. It's hooked up there directly. So actually really love the key light and highly recommend. This is my DSLR that I use for streaming. It is the Canon EOS Rebel T6i. I want to say I got that camera when I graduated high school or like earlier. My parents knew I wanted to be a YouTuber. At the time, I wanted to just be like a vlogger sort of thing. So uh, I asked for a camera. That was all that I wanted. So uh, it's finally getting put to use. As you can tell, I have not used it for vlogging, um, but it's finally getting put to use and it's honestly great for streaming and I just used the lens that came with the camera. I don't need anything fancy, but hopefully one day I can upgrade. I would love to upgrade my lens. That's, that's probably the next big setup change I might have. I would like to thank the Udi for sponsoring this portion of the video. The Udi has just come out with a brand new loungewear collection that is full of the cutest, coziest items ever, including what I am currently wearing. This is their super soft long cardigan in the white color along with the pants, which obsessed with this outfit, you guys. If you go on their website and you use the code SHELL25, you'll get $25 or pounds, whatever your currency is, 
off of your loungewear sets. Go take a look at the website yourself, you guys. You will not regret it. Their stuff is so freaking cute. I'm honestly considering buying more. Thank you so much to the Udi for sponsoring this video. Over here, this is the Elgato Wave mic arm. It is not the low profile one, as you can tell. It moves with so much ease, and I move and talk a lot when I'm streaming, so uh, it's honestly really great for me. A member of my community actually gifted this mic arm to me, so I'm really grateful for that. Now, at the end here, I have a shock mount. This I just got off Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. Basically, it just absorbs any movement and shock from the microphone. This is the Shure MV7. Um, I use it as an XLR, but you can also use this as a USB microphone if you don't have a mixer. I love this microphone with my whole life. I think it is an amazing microphone if you ever want to upgrade from a USB mic or want the option for both. So this half marble heart my boyfriend actually got to me as a Christmas gift and he has the other half and it's like a dark version and he has it on his microphone. So yeah, very cute. And then on my microphone, I have these two pins that Twitch sent me as a Twitch partner gift um, as part of like a package. So I just threw those on there. Continuing from my microphone, I have the Elgato Wave XLR mixer. I'm not very well educated in managing audio and the Wave XLR mixer is actually super simple to like navigate and figure out. Okay, now moving on, I have my Nintendo Switch here hooked up to my PC. On it, I have a skin that I got from Etsy. I'll have the Etsy shop linked down below, but I actually love it. It actually blends in with my desk so much more nicely. I also have my Elgato Stream Deck, which I use every once in a while, but it's not something that I use super often, and I definitely wouldn't say is absolutely necessary for streaming. I use it to control my light, and I use it to control my streams while I'm live on this page. Now, my favorite part. These are actually brand new. I just got these products in from Logitech, which I am so grateful for. So this is the Logitech G715 keyboard. With the keyboard comes this wrist rest. It's like a little cloud. I fell in love with this. This is really great for your wrist, especially when I'm editing. I love having this thing. This mouse is the G705 by Logitech. I'm still playing around with it, seeing how I like it, but it's really great for tiny hands. If you have large hands, I do not recommend this, but for tiny hands, it is really great, and I like having the thumb rest, which my other mouse that I use does not have. Now, this mouse pad, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite. This mouse pad is from the Aurora Collection. They have it in pink, in neon green, and in white. I decided to use the pink one because I just think it makes my whole setup very warm and cozy. Technically, this isn't like part of my setup, but this is a candle that me and my boyfriend picked out. It's peanut butter bourbon scented, and it is, it smells so good. I got it from Winners. Now, the star of the show, my G735 headset. I love this thing from Logitech. I've only had it for a few days, but I'm obsessed with it. It is quite an expensive headset, so Definitely worth saving up for, but it's it's a good one. I love using it, and it just is so freaking cute and sounds actually amazing. And then this little stand is from Amazon. I'll also have that link down below. And then I have a little deer who is covered in my earbuds, which happened to fall back here, which I ha also did not show you guys, but I will show you now. And this is from Send a Friend. I think using earbuds for gaming, like casual gaming and for editing is game changing. Having a giant headset on your head all day is just like, it's not the vibe. By the way, the actual desk itself is from Ikea. Um, the tabletop was super cheap, but I know they don't sell it anymore. But the drawers are the Alex drawers, and then the basic, like, stands there. I, you guys know. You can make your own desk at Ikea, basically. Now, this chair is my child. I love my Secret Labs chair. It is so, so comfortable. I think the only scenario where I would actually change this chair is to get an ergonomic chair because I feel like it would be a lot better for my back. The message that I really want to get across is that you should not be using those, like, those gaming chairs, you guys know the ones, those cheap gaming chairs from Amazon or like, I don't know, just don't don't use those. They're so bad for you and they wear out so quickly and they can get so loud and squeaky. You just, you don't wanna, you don't wanna do that. Okay, moving on to over here. This is kind of the background of my streams, but I have a little table here. This is a little like side table from Ikea. I have a blanket underneath and I usually keep my laptop under there too. I have some plants here. I'm learning how to take care of plants. Uh, this one has been through it, but she is coming back. She's kind of dying. But I saved her life, and I'm thinking that I can continue to keep her alive. 
this is my aloe and then this is my little like I don't know what it is but it looks like a little tree and I love I love this plant so much this lamp is from Ikea I love this lamp so so much and it was super cheap my boyfriend bought me this squishmallow because he said it's me in a stuffy form for some reason he sees that and you know what I thought it was the cutest thing ever so I, I love her. I love this Squishmallow. Up here, this is my Sasuke Uchiha art, if you're a Naruto fan. So this I actually got from an artist. I'll have his Instagram down below, but he does a ton of anime art and creates these beautiful scenes in the back that are just like iconic moments of the character. So I highly, highly recommend checking out his work. One thing I will share is that this is my other Logitech keyboard, which is actually on, which shouldn't be on. It's the G915. This is my favorite keyboard of all time. I think I do prefer this one over the one on my desk. I'm just trying out the one on my desk uh, for a little bit because it's brand new. This is my tried and true keyboard. If you want to invest in a good keyboard, this Logitech one is actually amazing. This is the microphone I first started streaming with, so I have a lot of sentimental meaning with this one, so I keep it on my shelf. Okay, now moving on to this little bookshelf. This is obviously not seen on stream. This is more just for me to look at, but all you guys really need to know is I have this little spot with all my Switch games, which actually isn't too many. I have my salt lamp, uh, this little gyroid planter with a fake plant in it. And then I have some of my amiibos here. This is my favorite amiibo of all time. Love it. And of course, I have my Korok and my Tom Nook plushie. If any of you guys are Legend of Zelda fans, please follow me on my Twitch channel because I just started a brand new Legend of Zelda save where we are 100%ing the whole Breath of the Wild game. Obviously, the new announcement for the new game came out, so I was like, you know what? I'm restarting and I'm going for 100%. So if you want to join and hang out with me while I do that, feel free to follow me on Twitch. My link will be down below. And that is basically my gaming setup tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, everything I mentioned will be down below. And thank you so much to the Udi again for sponsoring this video. I love their products and uh, I think you guys should really check them out. I think you guys will love them too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Make sure you like this video if you have not already. And if you like, I don't know, wanna see more talking style videos like this. And subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the content that I have been working so very hard on. And I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.